Good evening, everyone. It's Sparrow here, and I am not playing Final Fantasy XIV tonight. <laughs> I'm actually trying out a new game. I've been wanting to play this one for a while um, since I heard it was going to come out. Um, I love point-and-click adventure games, and you know, I never actually played the older Monkey Island games, so I was really excited that a newer one was coming out. And apparently it's it's very accessible to new players. I've watched Let's Plays of some of the older games. So um, I figured since I'm all caught up on the uh, Final Fantasy XIV um, MSQ, it, it might be a good time just to try something else. And this game isn't very long, I don't think. Um, so I thought it would be fun just to do like maybe occasionally on Saturdays. Um, or just kind of off and on, just like a very casual kind of low-key stream. I think there's lots of voice acting in this, so I don't know if I'll be as chatting as much, but um, I'm also really curious about the art style of these games because they're, the newer style I know has been very contentious. Like some people really don't like it. Some people, I, I think it looks pretty nice. It does look kind of like, it, it's very different from the older games because the older games like have uh, you know this beautiful pixel art I, I listened to a uh, an interview with one of the original designers and like the work they put into those like original games like the pixel art back when they only had you know like 16 colors to work with is, is like pretty amazing if you go back and look at those screens from like the original games and, and even like the slightly updated versions of those games the pixel art is gorgeous so I can see why some people might not like this kind of more like flash animated kind of style, but I wanted to give it a chance because um, I heard the game itself was actually really fun and the art style, once it's in movement, it, it, it looks really nice. So let's go ahead and start off a new game. We're going casual. <laughs> <laughs> not we're not we're not here to play hard hard mode <laughs> monkey island prelude an unexpected story begins is that like a peg leg in a key seems appropriate take this lechuk no uh, guybrush come over here gently now remove my mask Will you promise to stop picking on me? All right, all right, I promise. Anything, just put my leg back on. Hey, you kids, you're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Let's goof on those two. Pretend they're our parents. <laughs> yeah! Sorry we ran off. You were probably worried about murderers and ne'er-do-wells. Don't worry, I found him. <laughs> <laughs> um, come on, let's go. <laughs> let's pretend I have powers that make lightning come out of my eyes. It's so lifelike. <laughs> I wonder if it's real. Sorry, boys, could you stop following us? It's creepy. Yes, yes sir. sir. <laughs> Come on. I saw a scurvy dog shack back there. Scurvy dogs. I've never had one of those. No way. You have to try one. It's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. No bullet. Wow. Okay, so we click, click on the ground to walk. Very intuitive <laughs> for a point and click adventure. I'm, I'm boy brush right now. <laughs> Let's see. Talk to Chucky with. Click. What should we do next? We gotta get to scurvy dogs. I, I can't believe you never had one. A scurvy dog. Enter the scurvy dog shack with uh, a left click. I can see, like the 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 style is very like storybook looking it kind of reminds me of those um those uh did you ever read the stinky cheese man <laughs> uh the frankly stupid tales of the stinky cheese man i can't remember the exact title 
uh, th th this kind of art style kind of reminds me of it. Let's let's go talk. Get a scurvy dog. Ooh. Are we sure we want to eat these? Oh look, it's this. That key is on a peg leg. They put it on a leg to keep you from walking off with it. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Oh, click on the key to pick it up. I should pick this up. I should pick this up. Oh, I have to right click it. I see. I'll bring this right back, sir. You'd be wise to do that. I got the leg from the last kid who didn't bring back the key. You can look at the items you picked up in your inventory. Oh, I see. A to-do list. Buy scurvy dogs. Junior Mighty Pirates to-do list. Okay. And the outhouse key. Oh, that's what... <laughs> it's the key to the bathroom. I once got a scurvy dog that was bigger than my head. Examine it. Oh, I see. the outhouse outside. Okay. What should we do next? We gotta get the scurvy dogs. Okay, I, enough, I enough about the scurvy dogs. Uh... Those glasses are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. <laughs> Gross. You kids better have money. Uh, yeah. Oh. We've got all kinds Do of money. Do we have any money to buy a scurvy dog? Okay, select your response. Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Can we get some chicken foot fries? <laughs> Can we get a mug of grog, please? Uh, I, we want some scurvy Can dogs. Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure. If you give me a piece of eight, that's money that grown-ups use. I know what a piece of eight is. Good for you. You can have a couple of dogs if you give me one. Please? Please? Can't you spare something for a couple of hungry kids? <laughs> They're so cute. Listen up, you little moocher. Let me tell you something. I don't like kids. I'm an honest businessman trying to make an honest living. I don't need 50 kids a day coming in and wasting my time trying to get me to give them free food. I guess never mind. I guess never mind. <laughs> hey, I know. Let's look for change in the outhouse across the way. Coins fall out of people's pockets when they sit down in there. That's where the outhouse key was. Okay, let's go to the outhouse. That was out here. Mess around in the outhouse. It's locked. Good thing I've got the key in my pocket. Okay. Open your inventory. Grab the key. And drag it to the inventory. Uh, drag it to the outhouse. Oh, I see. Good! You unlocked it! Ooh. What's this little metal thing? It isn't a piece of eight. But it's a round piece of metal about the same size and shape as a piece of eight. That's called a slut. It's like a fake coin. Uh, peel the slug off the floor. A fake coin oh. is almost as good as a real coin. Gross. Search for coins in this pile of filth. Why not? I don't see any <laughs> coins, and I'm not putting my hands in that. <laughs> oh, there's bugs. Read Some the sign. You go have scurvy dogs with cheese inside. Please wash hands before leaving outhouse. Uh, wash hands in this. In I'm this. Not touching that gunk. It seems <laughs> more like something Chucky would do. <laughs> hey, Chucky. It says you're supposed to wash your hands. I never wash my hands. Gross. I <laughs> once had the hiccups. Gross. 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 Search for Chucky, coins in the toilet. Why don't you look in the toilet? <laughs> no way. You do it. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Gross. Gross. I don't think there's anything else in here. We've got a fake coin. Maybe we can convince that guy that it's a real coin since he has very thick glasses. Uh, let's see. We can muck around in here. Did you know you can keep a scurvy dog warm by sticking it in your armpit? Uh, gross. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Pirate! Um... Hello? Hello? Boo! Ha! 
He's dead to the world. <laughs> Sounds real. <laughs> muck hey, muck around. Get ready to run. I guess they don't like visitors. Let's go next door and get scurvy dogs. Alright, alright, enough of the scurvy dogs. Can we can we convince this guy we have money now? Uh ask the counter guy for stuff. Now what? Can we get, we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure. If you give me a piece of eight. Okay. I'll give him this slug. Give slug er piece of eight to the vendor. <laughs> what can we get with this? Oh, oh, don't bite that. That was on the bathroom floor. Tastes like a piece of eight. Oh. Enough for a couple of scurvy dogs if you want. Perfect! Yay. Take them, boy. Oh. What are you getting? What? Just kidding. Here's yours. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Did these do these hot dogs give us scurvy? Yum. <laughs> what do you want to do now? I don't know. What do you want to do? Hmm. I wonder where those two people we were following went. Okay. When do we turn into pirates? Let's go that way now. Oh. That's my friend D. Hey D. Hey Chucky. What are you jerk faces up to? We just got here. I'm making a list of stuff to do. Give me that. I'm an expert planner. She give us some quests. There. Perfect. See you around the park, Zit Heads. <laughs> Zit Heads. Okay, can look at our new to-do list. Whoa, she wrote around a lot of stuff. Mess around and explore, check out the anchor, beat Chucky in a race, feed the duck. <gasps> Exciting. <laughs> Add some sauce to my scurvy dog, practice sword fighting, find a four leaf clover, and make a wish at the wishing well, and find our real parents. Oh, that's quite a list. You can also hit T to open your to do list. Talk to D. Oh, here's the anchor. In France, they call it That's a cool anchor. <sighs> that just shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. You'd know that if you write as much about anchors as I have. Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed to hold ships in place? They were used in combat, shot from cannons as a grapple when you were trying to board another ship. They started making them bigger and bigger because they would do more <laughs> damage that way. Then people noticed what happened when you missed the other ship and hit the sea bottom instead. The current bow-shaped design is actually less effective than the sharper V-shaped design that was popular last century. But the older design went out of fashion after sailors started to think the letter V was fast. You can still find the old on a modern anchor. That's oh my that. gosh. But the little flanges at the tips, most anchors use <laughs> about 30 all kinds of... But the oh only way that the word anchor comes from the Sanskrit word nagara. Meaning sitting there. Oh, yeah. I'm kind of an expert on anchors. Wow. I read a lot. <sighs> wow. <laughs> she does know a lot about anchors. If you missed anything, you can press a uh, comma to see previous lines. No thanks. That's an anchor. All right. Oh, looks like here we can challenge Chucky to a race. Hey, Chucky. Want a race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three. Two, one, go! Ah, I win! <laughs> so you can double click to run faster. This is just like the tutorial. Okay. Where's the duck? Oh, look! We can feed the duck! <gasps> A cute duck! I want to feed the duck! Take some bread. Hey! Hands off! That's our bread! Then why is it on the ground? Excuse me? Yes? Could we have some of your bread to feed the duck? Could we have some of your bread to feed the duck? I don't think so. <laughs> we brought it for ourselves. Man, these people... Excuse me? Yes? Will you pretend, Will to, be you our pretend parents? to be our parents again? What do you mean, again? Run <laughs> along and find your real parents. Excuse me. Yes. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. 
How do I feed the duck? Oh, you're not supposed to re feed the duck, though. It says that you're not supposed to. <laughs> Don't feed the duck. Well. I want to feed the duck. I want to feed him. What is this? What's this red glob on the ground? That's ketchup. It's supposed to be really good with scurvy dogs. Okay, I need to get. S oh wait, I can pick up the ketchup off the ground. Uh, you should put that on your scurvy dog. Should I? <laughs> this is just like showing you how to combine items. Oh, take a bite. <laughs> <laughs> Yuck! I don't think that was ketchup. Whoops. Oh, what? What was it then? I can stand on my head without using my hands. <laughs> Ooh, practice sword fighting. Let's be frank. You can never hope to beat me. <laughs> no way! You'll never catch up to my level. I win. I win. Uh -uh. <laughs> you guys are both pretty weak. Well, anyway, that was fun. <laughs> okay. How do we feed the duck? Oh, I wonder what's in the basket. in that basket let's find out what do you think you're doing kids these days you have no regard for personal property and no respect for your elders i have half a mind to give you a piece of my mind and i've got the other half uh, run. how rude i see so you can while someone else is talking and distracted you can still like move around i got some bread to feed the duck <laughs> this is an important development Give it some of your bread. Bread, exam the bread. Feed the duck. Yay! I fed the duck. Achievement unlocked. I've got more bread. Can I feed the duck again? It looks full. Oh, it looks full. <laughs> As it just ate some more bread. Okay. What else did I have to do? Let's see. In my to-do list. Find a four-leaf clover and make a wish at the wishing well, and find our real parents. Oh, okay, so here's... Do not pick the four-leaf clovers. <laughs> As if! There's a four-leaf clover right there. I want to see two scurvy dogs at the same time. I found ah. one! Awesome! <laughs> there was still one left? Darn! I don't want to talk to her again. She just, like, talked a million times. Examine it. I never thought I'd ever find one. Okay, and what do we need to do with it? Just find it? Oh yeah, okay, we just, now we have to make a wish at the wishing well, I guess it's over here. Here we go, the wishing well. I should find a coin to throw in. Oh, a coin. Hmm. Are we done here? We might not be able to come back if we head this way. Oh, wait, here's a coin right here. Couldn't we have used that to buy scurvy docks? I should throw my coin in and make a wish. Okay. I have an extra tooth in the back. I can feel it with my tongue. Before you use up your wish, maybe you should save the game so you can load your save game and try another wish. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll save my game. I wish Chucky had the mustache. I wish Dee would disappear. I wish for a cool plant. I wish for another scurvy dog. I wish I could speak backwards. Uh, uh, I wish for a cool plant. I wish for a cool plant. A plant? What a waste <laughs> of a wish. <Ooh>. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I take it back. That was the best. If you can load, okay, so I can load my game and see, uh, do a different wish. <laughs> I wish Chucky had a I mustache. I wish Chucky had a mustache. Ah. <laughs> oh. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> 
So I've done everything except find our real parent. Whoops. I don't really want to see the other wishes. Let's get this guy going. Our parents over here? Oh, that does look like it could be my dad. <laughs> Is it real guy brush? Hey dad. Hello, Mr. Threepwood. Yep. Hey kids. Having fun? Yeah. We got scurvy dogs. Those have toenails and stuff. In them. <laughs> Ugh, I read about it. We were playing your adventures. We just did Big Whoop. Big Whoop. Oh boy. That takes me back. I like it when Chucky asked me to put his leg back on. He says it really funny. You guys always make up the craziest stuff for the ending of that story. It's fun. But you can't just change it around. That's not how storytelling works. A lot of your stories don't feel like they're finished at the end. What do you mean? <laughs> well, like, there's this one that you call The Secret of Monkey Island, where you went to Monkey Island and fought LeChuck. Oh, that story has a great ending. There's punching and fireworks. I thought you liked that one. But you never did find the secret. Not the real one. Sure, but that's not what that story was about. Kids, let me tell you a story that is about finding The Secret of Monkey Island. Long story. I think maybe I gotta go use the bathroom or something. Yeah, <laughs> I have to go um, walk my tarantula. Maybe I should go with them. No, no, stick around. This is a good one. See, there was a rumor going around that my old nemesis, LeChuck, had somehow discovered the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. I knew I had to get it before he did, so I went to Melee to get my own expedition started and beat him to the punch. Now, now do we actually get to play as Guybrush? Yeah. That was a cute little tutorial. Deep in the Caribbean. The Island of Melee. <laughs> That's the title of the game! Yeah, the, the art style is is really different. It's like very kind of like like flash, but it was designed by the original designer of the first game, um, and they got the same voice actors back. It's pretty cool. Well, actually, I don't know if it was the same designer or if it's the same writer. I, I think it may be the same writer. Or, sh or game runner? It's not a show, but like show runner, but game runner. Dinky Game Engine by Ron Gilbert and Derek Nylon. <laughs> it's it's Ron Gilbert, I think, who was the original guy. Maybe producer. <laughs> Looks very friendly, this cleaver with blood. Uh, feels good to be back on Melee Island, the hub of pirating in the Caribbean, where every good expedition begins. I'll see some old pals and get things rolling. Or sailing in this case. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Remember me? Haven't seen you in a while, Threepwood. What have you been up to? Well, you know, freebooting mostly. Swashing buckles and so on. But now I'm getting an expedition together to find the secret of Monkey Island. Oh, you're sailing with LeChuck. What? LeChuck's here in Melee? Is there widespread panic? Are people evacuating? Ah, he doesn't seem interested in carnage at the moment. Ship's just here taking on supplies and crew, as far as I can tell. Well, anyway, no. I'm not sailing with LeChuck. You know my history with him. Let's see. He's an evil zombie ghost pirate, terror of the seas. He's an evil zombie ghost pirate, terror of the seas, and sometimes the land. A nefarious, <laughs> conniving, murdering scallywag, a depraved, ruthless villain, and a loud talker. And I'm <laughs> not those things. They say opposites attract, but what do I know? <laughs> LeChuck kidnapped LeChuck my wife. LeChuck kidnapped my wife. He's always had designs on her. 
I sailed to Monkey Island to find them and get her back. Oh, I thought you weren't married yet when that happened. And didn't she more or less <laughs> rescue herself? That's not the point. <laughs> the voice acting is very charming. We've been enemies for my whole career. We've been enemies for my whole career. <laughs> Everywhere I go, there he is. He plagues me. He's my nemesis. Funny. He said the same thing about you. <laughs> I like this little fat rat in the background. <laughs> that guy steals my best ideas. That guy steals all my best ideas. <laughs> Are you sure it isn't the other way around? Seems like he was here first. I don't know how he found out, but I'm sure he's just doing this to get one up on me. I'm mounting my own voyage. I'm mounting my own voyage. Mine. Mine. Well, you'd better get cracking then. The chuck's loading up on the outer dock as we speak. Well, I'm gonna hire a ship and a crew and beat him to the punch. Just as soon as I can get someone to back the venture. I'm a little short on funds at the moment. In that case, you'll want to go talk to the pirate leaders at the scum bar. Exactly. That's why I came to Melee. It'll be great to see those old guys again. We'll knock back a grog and hash out the details. Scum bar. By the docks. Long table in the back. I know where I'm going. We'll see. <laughs> It's like a mini lookout. I detect a certain resemblance here. Yes, it looks a lot like an owl, doesn't it? <laughs> Shouldn't you be on your way to the scum bar to talk to the pirate leaders? Well, I was just about to head down there. I'm just looking around first. Oh, do I have anything in my pack? Oh, I have a to-do list. Talk to the pirate leaders to get money, use watts of cash to outfit the expedition, and find the secret of Monkey Island and retrieve, uh, excuse me, and relive the glory days. What else did I have in my bag? Oh, some money. I've got a few coins for incidentals. A few coins. <laughs> it doesn't say how many. Look at this little fat rat. Okay, down to the docks. The art style is very different, but it's it's actually quite quite charming. Yeah. Oh, I see. Go through. So, a reelect. Reelect Governor Carla. Oh, Governor Carla. Carla, she was the swordmaster before, I think. Oh, LeChuck is already loading his ship. I better get cracking if I want to get to the secret before that scheming blackguard. How does this guy have his exact same voice? Like, it hasn't changed at all. I better get cracking if I okay, want to get okay. to the secret before that scheming blackguard. Time to talk to the pirate leaders. Talk to a pirate. I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. Hmm. A collectible card trivia book. It's a book for storing collectible trivia cards. Looks like someone just left it here unattended. It's mine now. In the back of the scum bar is... Oh, I don't know. I haven't looked yet. Hmm. New decor. Looks like a circus act. Maybe. Oh. The pirate leaders are supposed to be here? <laughs> Have you seen the pirate leaders around? This is their table. In fact, you'd probably better move. You don't want to get caught sitting here. It's our table, Rummy. We're the pirate leaders. Get lost. <laughs> I hadn't heard that there was a change of leadership. I hadn't heard there was a change of leadership. Oh, no. Did nobody remember to notify you? <laughs> Maybe your party invite got lost in the mail. Where are the older guys? Where are the three older guys who used to hold court here? Who cares? Probably crying in an alley somewhere, wishing they were still relevant. <laughs> Making up trials for each other and writing memoirs that no one will read. Is it you I should talk to? Is it you I should talk to about financing an expedition? An expedition? Who is it that you think you are exactly? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm Guybrush Threepwood. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Probably you've heard of me. Probably not. 
Permission to slaughter the annoying old wasteful man, <laughs> Captain Madison. Great! It was Captain Madison? She's like famous! I've got her on a trading card. Her plunder stats are amazing! Plunder stats aren't plunder every... stats. Then the others were Captain Lila and Captain Trent? It was Lila who threatened to kill you? Look, they weren't that great, okay? Listen to the story. <laughs> Want me to slaughter him? Don't bother. He's just a harmless hack who thinks he has a good idea for a pirate raid. I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. You're wasting our time. The secret? I didn't think that was even a real thing. Hmm. It's a prize of incalculable monetary value, a cultural value, a mystery for the ages, or a personal passion of mine. I really want to find it. <laughs> it's a personal passion of mine. I really want to find it. Your weird fetishes are not something I need to hear about. <laughs> okay, I'm sensing some reluctance, but hear me out. Uh, I could make it worth your while to help me hire a crew. I could make it worth your while to help me hire a crew. The percentage of their earnings or something? No one in here wants to chase your pipe dream. Hmm. If you don't take this opportunity, LeChuck will grab it. If you don't take this opportunity, LeChuck will grab it. LeChuck? Yes, the dreaded zombie ghost pirate LeChuck himself is also going after the secret. He's here in Melee getting ready right now. If that doesn't prove it's a worthwhile venture, I don't know what else to tell you. Great. Problem solved. Excellent. You'll do it. <laughs> no, of course not. Why waste money on an expedition when you can just join the one that's already going? Have fun with your scary ghost friend. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, the slight problem with that idea is that LeChuck and I are basically mortal enemies. <laughs> 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 Fine. I don't need you or your money. Actually, I do. I can do this on my own. If I can't buy a ship, I'll steal one. I'm a pirate. I'll find a way to get to Monkey Island no matter what it takes. I like the old pirate leaders better. Hmm, okay. So that wasn't helpful. Open on the trivia book. Uh... I don't remember. What happens when I do these? A giant whale? Oh, no. Oh, it disappears. Oh, darn. Huh. Well. Stroll along the docks. La ship. <laughs> How clever. Job openings. Expedition to fabled Monkey Island. Crew positions available. Serve under LeChuck, the most fearsome pirate on the eight seas. Equal opportunity employer. Inquire here. Looking for a job? Step this way. The clipboard in your hand says you're the quartermaster. The crew says I'm the quartermaster. Clipboard doesn't get a vote. <laughs> You look like a guy without many options. You want a job? <laughs> Short of swabby. LeChuck's an equal opportunity employer. Even humans are mostly tolerated. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Absolutely, I'd love to be a swabby. Have you got anything more senior? No thanks, I'm getting my own op expedition together. Uh, let's, let's try to get on the boat and see if we can find anything. Absolutely. I'd love to be a swabby. Swabbing is one of my favorite things in the whole world. The restful, mindless repetition, <laughs> the delicate scent of old soapy water, the proud satisfaction of a sparkling plank. Okay, okay. Save the strokes for the decks. The only requirement is that you bring your own mop. If you've got a mop, the job is... Hey, hey, wait a minute. What's your name, sailor? Uh... Andrew LeChuck, no relation. Andrew LeChuck, no relation. <laughs> What a coincidence. LeChuck gave me a blacklist and you're on it. <laughs> How did he In know? Fact, you are the blacklist. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can't hire you. 
You're obviously guy brush Oh three no. Board. Well, hmm. that's a slight hitch. I'm confused. Didn't you say you were going to get your own ship? Yes, but then suddenly I thought, why bother? I wanted a ship and a crew. Here was a ship and a crew. Ripe for the taking. All I had to do was get on board, wait for the right moment, and strike. Strike? Mutiny the crew, seize the ship. Be a pirate. Except they wouldn't hire you because they knew who you were. Yeah, that was a problem. Also, I needed a mop. A mop. So I need a mop and maybe a disguise? Join like Chuck's crew. Quartermaster recognize me and won't hire me. Get a mop. Seize LeChuck's ship at the earliest opportunity. Find the secret of Monkey Island. Okay. Let's see. Where can we find a mop? Why was Wally in such a hurry? He wouldn't sell us out to Madison. Would he? I believe he needed to relieve the pressure upon him in a different way. Hmm. Who's that? Someone I need to talk to. Was there a mop in here? <coughs> hmm. Did I, t I only talked to one. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. <laughs> It'll turn out to be a t-shirt or something. Yeah, I wonder if there's there's like multiple branching paths. Like if you if you don't talk to that uh that ghost pirate, if maybe you can go get your own ship. Say hi to Cobb. Hi, Cobb. Hard to believe after all these years, you're still here. I was declared a historical landmark. <laughs> Why does it say something something loom on his jacket? What is that? This place does seem different from what I remember. I'm going to find the secret of Mon Monkey Island. Want to come? Or tell me, well, tell me about loom. What is loom? Tell me about loom. Oh, I'm so sick of pirates asking me about loom. Get lost. <laughs> why is it? So, well, why don't you take off the ask me about loom button? Then why don't you take <laughs> off the ask me about loom button? My grog riddled body has fused with it. <laughs> I'm more button than man at this point. Uh, come on, tell me about loom for old times' sake. Oh, come on, <laughs> tell me about loom for old times' sake. Beat it. <laughs> Say it. Say it. No. <laughs> Say it! Say it! <laughs> Fine. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm <laughs> Brian oh, it's an advertisement. <laughs> Why, it's an extraordinary adventure <laughs> with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, <laughs> sophisticated score, and musical effects. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, <laughs> objects, and magic spells. Beat the rush. <laughs> Go out and buy loot is that, today. Is that a real game? Yes. <laughs> now get lost. <laughs> Achievement unlocked fan service. <laughs> that, I wonder if that is an old game. Huh. <laughs> This place seems different. Yeah, this place does seem different from what I remember. It's this new, younger generation of pirate leaders. Oh, they're highfalutin dark magic. Look at us. We're so much better than you because we don't drink grog before getting married. <laughs> <laughs> These kids today are all about sacking and pillaging. They've got no heart. <laughs> oh, on Steam for six bucks. I'll have to check it out. <laughs> you want to come? I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. Want to come? I heard the secret is just some marketing gimmick Stan thought up. That only the gullible and naive would go looking for it. Mm, nice talking, talking to you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yar. Stupid painting. It's those three clowns at the back table. Oh, it's these guys. I don't see a mop in here. Let's see. A roaring fire. Nice and hot. Wonder how long I could stand here before bursting into flames. <laughs> let's see. Let's try in the kitchen. Guy brush threefoot. As I live and breathe, how have you been? Oh, a mop. Peachy. Peachy. Mm. How's Elaine? <laughs> she was always my favorite governor. Also, she covered your tab when you stopped coming in. <laughs> Uh, she's 
good. No pieces missing. <laughs> She's good. No pieces missing. Kids yet? Whoa, easy there, Tiger. I'm still in my juvenile phase myself. That's what Elaine says anyway. Well, <laughs> tell her I say hello. Yeah, I never even heard of Loom. I'll, I'm kind of curious now. I'll have to look into it. Uh, do you know? There's a mop literally right behind. Do you know where I can buy a mop? Do you know where I can buy a mop? <laughs> buy? You don't want to buy a mop. I think I do. The uh -oh. mop is the formal tool of a cook. Not as clumsy or random as a dish rag. An elegant tool for a more civilized cleaning. You cannot hope to succeed with the mop of another. I can't? You must construct your own. Oh, oh. A single perfect instrument that you will keep and use for a lifetime. Oh. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Once you build it, the mop will become your constant companion, your tool, and a ready means of defense against spills of all kinds. <laughs> uh, build it? <sighs> the wood is the heart of the handle. The heart is the handle of the cook. This is you so dramatic. Are one. Not helpful so far. You must find a particular tree. A tree uniquely suited to the handles of mops. Carve your handle from a limb of that tree. <laughs> okay. Any can, questions? Can I just have that mop? <laughs> are you sure I can't just buy a mop? <laughs> are you sure I can't just buy a mop? Yours, for example. No, you've got to make one. Trust me on this. Okay. <laughs> So how, how do I find a mop handle tree? How do I find the mop handle tree? I can't tell you exactly where it is because this is your own <laughs> personal journey. Your own personal journey. Uh, uh, from, mm, what kind of wood is the tree? What kind of wood is the tree? That is something you must discover for yourself. Hmm, okay. Well, what about the head of the mop? What about the head of the mop? Oh, you have to have one, of course, but pretty much anything will do. It's mostly about the handle. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll do okay. it. Okay, I guess I'll do it. What's wrong? You gave the story the wrong title. It should be called Mop Quest. <laughs> when do we get to the piratey parts? Well, even the coolest professions involve more mopping up than you would think. <laughs> it seemed crazy to me at the time, too. But don't forget, it was all so I could board a ship, take command, and sail to Monkey Island. But first, I had to make a mop. Ooh, maggots. Active little guys, aren't they? <laughs> a relative, perhaps? Looks like a mugshot. <laughs> steal the picture. Stay away from that picture. Oh, I can't steal it. Let's see. Impressive health department certificate. It's amazing what you can achieve if you put your mind to it. And you have a packet of stick-on stars. <laughs> oh, I see. Like the, little, the stars are like literally going off the page. Rancid foodstuffs. The food is more exciting when you can smell the risk. <laughs> Surreptitious, ugh, surreptitious, surreptitiously. There we go. I, I got it out the third time. Abscond with the mop. Hmm. Stay away from my mop. Dang it. <laughs> I may have to distract him somehow, maybe. Open the door. It's out here. What the heck is that? String. I think someone tried to secure a boat with this. I can always use some string. Check out the wooden seagull. The plaque says, in memory of looming seagulls of old. Okay. Well, I got some string. Can I admire the mop? <laughs> well, it's definitely a mop. Okay. So I have to go find a tree? A tree to build a mop. <laughs> I didn't notice these guys in the foreground before. Head out. A vast. Okay. Alas, the scum bar. Name seems to fit even better than it used to. <laughs> Let's see. Head to Low Street. Elaine? Elaine! Guybrush! Wait, are you going to tell a mushy <laughs> part now? 
A little, but I can skip over the hugs and kisses. Elaine! Guybrush! <laughs> I was hoping you'd turn up in I this story. I was hoping you'd turn up in this story. <laughs> I was hoping you'd turn up in mine. <laughs> How's your scurvy prevention project? How's your scurvy prevention project? <laughs> it's great! We're going to get a lot of limes to a lot of sailors and save a lot of lives. I've got to come up with a way to deal with Captain Madison, though. The pressure she's putting on the town is making it hard for social programs like mine. <laughs> Sounds like we've both met Captain Madison. Uh, sounds like we've both met Captain Madison. I don't like her. She's the one who pushed to shut down the shipyard. She doesn't understand the value of the secret of Monkey Island. She laughed at me. Me too. Obviously, the woman has no taste and a <laughs> lousy sense of humor. Let's see. Uh, You won't believe how I'm getting to Monkey Island. You won't believe how I'm getting to Monkey Island. I've known you a long time. Try me. I'm planning to sign on to LeChuck's crew, mutiny them, and take the ship. Oh, dear. Isn't there an easier way? Oh, trust me. That is the easy way. Is it? <laughs> uh, I feel better just talking to you. I feel better just talking to you. Me too. Aw. Uh, you, prob uh, you probably gotta get you going. You probably gotta get going. You say goodbye first. No, you say bye first. No, you say bye first. <laughs> no. You say bye first. No, you say bye. No, first. you say bye first. <laughs> oh, you say bye first. How long can I get no, this going? No, you say bye first. <laughs> okay. Bye. Aw. Bye. <laughs> Cr criticize the statue. The problem with this statue is it's not a statue of Elaine, the best ever governor of Melee. <laughs> Sketchy graffiti. It doesn't look finished. Hmm. It doesn't look finished. A flyer. It's Elaine's flyer about how limes combat scurvy. It's important, but boring. I've never once made it all the way to the end. Okay, well, you should take that, Elaine right? Elaine would kill me if she caught me pulling down her flyers. Oh, well. Not here. <gasps> Going out of business, the voodoo shop. Going out of business? This place is an institution. Well, at least it's They're half off. A half off sale. <laughs> Well, the voodoo here must be authentic, culturally, and historically accurate. The sign says so. <laughs> it's real voodoo. Enter the International House of Mojo. Ah, the International House of Mojo. This place hasn't changed in years. <laughs> Everything's got, like, for sale signs on it. <laughs> Welcome, Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again. I have been waiting for you. Um, you mean ever, ever since we last saw each other? You mean... Fate ordained that you would be here several minutes ago. Only you can manage to be late, even when you are fated to arrive. <laughs> I'm <Yes>. sorry. <laughs> Allow me to seek knowledge on your behalf. Will it cost me anything? Pride. Free will. Not much. Oh, that's all. <laughs> The way to the secret is like a serpent, which swallows itself. Many obstacles lie ahead. Serpent, obstacles, got it. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> you must walk the path. Yet you have already walked the path. And now I'm going back again. Is that a book? When you are unsure of the way forward, open this book for guidance on what is to come. Oh, it we can, can tell me my future? A hint book? In a way, <laughs> think of it as a book of hints. A book of hints. What is it really? A book of hints. Use it wisely. To know too much diminishes the voyage. Neat. Thanks. No charge. Hmm. Impressive cauldron. What's cooking? The Feast of Knowledge. The sign says you're going out of business. Your sign says you're going out of business. Or is this one of those not really going out of business, going out of business sales? There is a new dark magic on the rise in the Caribbean. It has many adherents, particularly among the young. There is little demand for my talents or my wares. 
business is terrible. All that dark and magic. There are other factors. Captain Madison desires this location. That it belongs to me will be of little help against her financial and political powers. Oh, back up. Dark magic, he said? I did. How does dark magic work? How does dark magic work? Runes, chemicals, the power of secrets. I am no expert. It's too sterile for my tastes. I like things messy and theatrical. <laughs> Is it powerful? Is dark magic powerful? Powerful, yes. It can be. But dangerous. Mm. If the badger chews his own tail soon, there is no more badger. <laughs> you like that metaphor a lot, don't you? It has many uses. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, can dark magic get me to Monkey Island? Can dark magic get me to Monkey Island? No. Nuts. <laughs> Where can I get my hands on some dark Where magic? Where can I get my hands on some <laughs> dark magic? Dark magic is not your path, Guybrush Threepwood. But I want dark magic. <laughs> Uh, can you use your talents to tell me how Elaine is right now? Can you use your talents to tell me how Elaine is right now? Though I just saw right her now? like two seconds she ago. She is always close, no matter the distance. Do your answers ever make sense? There are no answers, only questions that are finished. Mm, are you able to see what LeChuck is up to? Are you able to see what LeChuck is up to? Mm. Your goals and the goals of LeChuck are aligned, as always. <laughs> But his intentions are darker. He would use the secret to do terrible things. Mm. Dark-er? What's that supposed to mean? The Chuck must not acquire the secret. No argument there. Mm -hmm. Is this the year when you finally tell me your name? Is this the year <laughs> when you finally tell me your name? It's become almost a running gag between us. But it's awkward, like when your glass is empty, but you keep trying to drink out of it over and over. <laughs> it is Corina. Oh. Oh. Okay. Corina. Corina. Nice. That is a nice Somehow name. I thought it was more exciting before I knew that. <laughs> that is true of many things. I like how it's still, she's still called Voodoo Lady, though. So will I succeed? Will I succeed? Achievement depends mostly on the <laughs> definition of success. Hmm. Any other mystical advice? Got any other mystical advice or information for me? Stock tips or something? No. Stock tips. <laughs> okay. Uh, hint book, my to-do list. A mop handle tree. Okay. What else did I get? Oh, the hint book. And, un oh, I can untangle the string. That's hopeless. Hmm. I guess not. That's hopeless. Hmm. I need a hint. Uh, no, I don't need one yet. I want to try to figure it out. Disguises? Ooh, I do need this one of those. This is a symbol. What does it mean? That used to contain magical disguises. But alas, they have all gone. Ah, dang it. Yeah, it's too bad you're sold out. <laughs> a magic disguise seems really useful. There is always the famous eye patch of John Laney at the museum. I'm sure the magic has worn off by now. But I believe I mm. could restore its abilities. <coughs> a magic eye patch, you say? An empty basket. I should have gotten here last month. <laughs> Ooh, pick up the trivia card. Another nice basket. Too bad it's empty. Yep. It says everything must go, but it says it with numbers. Gifts? Do you do gift wrapping? We're out of wrapping paper, unless you'd like it wrapped in the skin of a lizard. <laughs> no thanks. What about this cool statue? Keep up the good work, buddy. <laughs> Someone's very excited I'm looking at this sign. <laughs> Colorful. Green, half off. Blue, half of half off. Yellow, half of half of half off. Orange, aren't you glad you're here? <laughs> <laughs> the curtains are for sale too? Everything goes. They'd make a great dress. Hmm. Check out the rugged safe. It's an unusual safe with five keyholes. Alas, the safe is not for sale. It has been placed with me for safekeeping. Hmm. Open the rugged safe. 
I'd need a lot of keys to open that. Okay, ask about buying the safe. How much for the safe? It is not for sale at mm. any price. As I said, it has been placed with me for safekeeping. Shiny. A crystal. Yeah, this isn't that kind of game. <laughs> I don't need to pick up crystals. I'm so used to picking up crystals in, in Final Fantasy. I have about 18 of them. Everything is spilled out of it in a puddle. Hmm. Not for me. Okay. A tall bottle. Not very practical. Ooh, a little head. It's a creepy shrunken head with long, stringy hair. I didn't know these were a voodoo thing. They're not. But the tourists like them. <laughs> you can never get enough of these. I'll take this disgusting shrunken head. That's my last one. Quite the bargain. Okay. I have a shrunken head now. Ooh, top shelf? All my merchandise is top shelf. Can't you at least wait until I say what I'm thinking? It's creepy. <laughs> okay, anything else? I can get... Ooh, this looks really sharp. Pointy. It is a non-magical ceremonial knife. Very sharp indeed. I really want this. Oh, I'd like this knife. An excellent choice. I will need you to verbally agree to a release of liability. <laughs> okay. This product is not to be used in the commission of any crime, including uh -oh. vandalism, jailbreak, and theft of ancient priceless artifacts. Hmm. No problem. Threatening, frightening, stabbing, uh... shaving, or manicuring yourself or another person are likewise considered outside. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with the knife then? <laughs> use. Oh, okay, I guess. The product is not balanced for throwing. <laughs> Throwing the product <laughs> violates these terms and will invalidate the warranty. <laughs> Whittling, scrimshaw, mumbly peg, juggling, mumbly and peg. any tricks involving stacking or balancing the product may cause serious injury and should not be attempted by unlicensed persons. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh my gosh. Red, spreads, bed spreads, or thread may <laughs> damage the product. If damaged, uh, the product should not be used. Product is shot. Oh my gosh, this is going on for a, a while. Pocket, coat, belt, hat band, handbag, shoulder holster, or sheath. At all times, oh my God. <laughs> keep the product away from children, pets, the aged or infirm, clowns, clowns. pirates, and adults. <laughs> Where possible, it should be locked securely in a vault. The manufacturer oh my accepts God. no responsibility for the consequences <laughs> of any use or misuse of this product. By verbally assenting to these terms, purchaser hereby assumes all liability, past, present, and future, throughout this and all possible and impossible universes. Okay, surely that's the end. Oh, is this where I say yes? Yes. Yes. Is there anything I am allowed to do with it? Exactly. I am not able to answer that <laughs> question, as it could create a liability issue. Hmm, okay. Well, I've got a knife I can't use without getting in trouble, possibly. What's, What's this? this thing? It's a forgiveness frog. When no apology will do, give the forgiveness frog. It's like a card, oh. only much better because it's a frog. I've never heard of that before. Are you sure it's real voodoo? No comment. It works. <laughs> no comment. Trust me. I think I'll buy one of these. I'll take this forgiveness frog. It can help someone <laughs> a to forgive a total even apology. very old transgressions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've got lots of things now. Anything else? I can buy in here? No, nope. doesn't look like it. Okay. So, ooh, the hint, it's like glowing. Open the trivia book. Oh yeah, I got another trivia card. Morgan Le Flay first appeared in. I don't know any of these because I don't. I didn't actually play the original games. But I can guess. Let's see. Morgan Le Flay first appeared in LeChuck's Revenge, Escape from Monkey Island, Tales of Monkey Island, or Secret of Monkey Island. Does anyone know the answer? <laughs> I have no idea. I'm guessing it wasn't would be the first one because that one was just secret of monkey island right and i don't remember that character so i'm guessing it's one of the top three but i don't know 
I'll come back to it. All right, so we got a bunch of stuff. What, we got a frog? Tails? Oh, let's try it. Let's see, tails of Monkey Island. Aha! We were right! What do I get? I just get the card, I guess. I already missed the first one. <laughs> Read the sign. Property foreclosed by order of Madison Enterprises. Oh, this was my favorite novelty store. <laughs> yeah, that Captain Madison, she's just like closing down everything. Property foreclosed oh, by I read order it. of I Madison read that. Enterprises. What kind of person would just paint on a wall like that? So there's all these like weird graffiti everywhere. Elaine would never have stood for this when she was governor. Hmm. This place has kind of gone downhill. It's Wally's maps and more. Hey, Wally! Well, 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 look what the surf washed ashore. It's Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again, too, Wally. Whatever your last name is. <laughs> I spent years in therapy getting over being <laughs> burned, blinded, blown up, abandoned, and marooned because of you. Well, yeah, good times, huh? <laughs> you're lucky I'm past all that and am running the best map shop within the Caribbean and beyond. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a map to the secret of Monkey Island. You wouldn't happen to have a map to the secret of Monkey Island. Funny you should ask. I recently made one on commission, but then they destroyed all my source material. It is the only one in existence. Best of luck to you. Mm, great. Uh, let's see. I'm looking to, for a tree to make a stupid mop from. <laughs> I'm looking for a tree to make a stupid mop from. Have you got a map for that? So the cook has sent you on one of his spiritual journeys? Been a while since I made one of those mop tree maps. What kind of tree is it again? I don't know. A wood one? That's okay. <laughs> Just bring me a sliver of the wood and I can work it out from there. I'm that good. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. Use my apology toad. I could try. Let's see. You have a you have a lot of maps in here. You have a lot of maps in here. We've got so many. You need a map to find them all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a little cartographer <laughs> humor. Yeah, I'd forgotten how funny it was. <laughs> Looks like the shop across the way is in Looks trouble. Looks like the shop across the way is in trouble. The high stakes ego driven world of pirating is changing, and dark magic is taking over. Voodoo magic is fun and all, but it's not what the new generation wants. <laughs> Me? I'm on the bleeding edge and making a bundle. I'm about to franchise. <laughs> franchise? Well, the town seems pretty the run down. The town seems to be pretty run down. Since Captain Madison made Melee her base of operations, people have been complaining. They say she brings a bad element to town, but that bad element spends a lot of money on maps. So... What am I supposed to do? Do what's right? I am. <laughs> I'm doing what's right for Wally. Oh, come on, Wally. All right. Uh. Bye. Bye. Ooh, a box of monocles. <laughs> They're like glasses, only way less convenient. <laughs> Sneak a monocle. Look behind you, a three-headed monkey. Yoink. Oh, please take one. I use them to promote my business. See, it says maps and more on the edge. Uh, thanks. I've got a monocle now. I can take another one. Better to have one for each eye. If you say so. <laughs> oh, browse maps. Wally, can I have one of these maps? Absolutely. If you pay for it. Never mind. What, am I out of money now? It's a map on a fan. What'll they think of next? What'll they think of next? This must be Trouser Island. <laughs> Actually, Mr. Threepwood, it's... Yep, Trouser Island. <laughs> this map is taller. I had a map like this once, but I sailed left. That looks like a treacherous voyage. It says, rating, Cursed Black Diamond. <laughs> the first rule of piracy is, never buy a used treasure map. <laughs> that's, that's probably a good idea, that's true. A maze map. Good old mazes. Can't get enough mazes. Ooh, this one looks nice. How much is it? 
Oh, that one? Too much. Oh, even like the the rugs on the floor are maps. It's Wally's cartography stuff. Ooh, those look fancy. The finest tools to make the finest maps. An old lamp. I appreciate that Wally hasn't traded it in for a new model just because it's been around the block once or twice. I feel very strongly about that for some reason. <laughs> uh, I didn't know you made globes, too. I don't. This is for reference. It's got all the latest continents. <laughs> all right, let's try giving him the toad. Let's see. Where's the frog? Uh, I try to remember why I'm carrying a frog. The voodoo lady said it was a forgiveness frog. Okay. Apologize with the forgiveness frog. Nothing says I'm sorry like a dried up old frog. No worries. I've moved beyond you blinding, burning, blowing up, and marooning me all those years ago. Good to know. Hmm. Hey, Shades. How's it going? Oh, I can combine the monocles. If one monocle is good, two is better. Congratulate myself about the double monocle. This was a good idea. <laughs> they magnify stuff even better since I stuck them together. Oh. Let's see. Check my coin I've got purse. A few coins for incidentals. Uh, a gross, a shrunken head. It's a creepy, shrunken head with long, stringy hair. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Ooh, those look fancy. I need the a map. Finest tools. Why to can't make I buy the it? Finest one? maps. Let's see. A slightly suspicious ladder to a window. Hey, Wally. What's with the window ladder? I use it to keep an eye on the neighbors. Well, it's good to have a hobby. <laughs> What's this a map of? The secret movements and activities of my competitors. That sounds reasonable. Okay. Well, I need a map. Right? Hey, Did, Wally. Didn't I say I needed a map? Oh, what well, you need to make a map to the mop tree. Tell me again what you need to make me a map to the mop tree. Just bring me a sliver of the wood needed to make a mop. Oh, okay. Bye. So to get a map, I need to bring him wood? Okay. Let's see. Can I go over here? No. Over to High Street. Meanwhile, on LeChuck's ship. LeChuck, sir. Just thought I'd pop in and let you know. Preparations to set sail are almost done. You have all the supplies for the spell to get to Monkey Island? Check. Squid ink, chickens, brimstone, cinnamon, monkey blood, mint, and an annoying skull. Well done. Mark yourself down for one less lashing this voyage. <laughs> uh, hmm. funny story. Wonder if we need to remember those ingredients. Guybrush Threepwood tried to sign on to the crew. Threepwood? Uh -oh. He must be looking for the secret too. Mm, that guy steals all <laughs> my best ideas. Have him killed. Oh my. Wait. Let him live. I he changed his mind fast. He sail off for Monkey Island, knowing the secret is lost to him forever. Sure. I want to bring this up one more time. Is searching for this mythical secret of Monkey Island a good idea? Shouldn't we be out terrorizing the high seas, instilling fear, creating mayhem, being more on brand for LeChuck? I've had enough of you questioning <laughs> my orders. Finish loading the ship, and whatever you do, don't let Threepwood on board. Very well. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Interesting perspective. Switch. A note! Talk to the old woman. Let's see first. Okay, let's talk to the old woman first. Hi! Everybody thinks they know more than the other. Okay. Okay. Once you have a key, You've got to open the door. Help, helpful. Things are not what they seem. Okay. All keys are gold. 
It's the way of keys. No one ever works together. All want their own prize. When they get close to finding it, suddenly they are gone. I wonder if these are clues. Weird graffiti. Looks like a volcano island with horns that swallowed a basketball. <laughs> a note. The note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. <laughs> uh, and yeah, everything's all boarded up. Memories. Aww, this is where I risked my neck for Elaine, and she showed me she only needed me to risk my heart. Also, the windows need some work. Well, I can explore the alley. Sounds safe. Okay. Oh, nice. Uh, open the door. It seems to be stuck closed. Hmm. Okay. Guess I come back here later. There's nothing back here. What says this sign? Is that supposed to be Stan? It's like a clown. Okay. Nothing back there right now. Let's see. Visit the jail. A visitor! <laughs> Wait. Guybrush Threepwood? <laughs> Otis! Howdy, kid. And oh, and Stan. Stan. Otis, old pal. You haven't changed much since I last saw you. I blame the government. In fact, <laughs> didn't we first Same. meet right here? Not at all. I was in the other cell that time. You look different somehow. Uh, New art style. <laughs> How nice of you to notice. <laughs> New art style. That's cute. Uh, big news, I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. Big news, I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. <laughs> that sounds fantastic. You know what I remember most about Monkey Island? The time you busted me out of jail right before we went there. <laughs> I don't cruise ships anymore. But maybe you can still help me out. Like you did all those years ago. Yeah, I'm sort of planning on hijacking an existing crew instead of recruiting one. But maybe I can spring you anyway, for old time's sake. I would be most appreciative. A locksmith has opened very conveniently across the way. I am told locksmiths can make keys for things. Uh, things like cell doors. Imagine hmm. that. Imagine that. What did they get you for this time? What did they get you for this time? I'm a victim of circumstance. <laughs> circumstance being that too much attention gets paid to little things that don't hurt anyone while hard killers roam the streets with pistols and swords. I noticed you didn't say the crime they locked you up for. <laughs> I noticed you didn't say what crime they locked you up for. It was nothing. I was just picking some flowers. In the forest? Uh, no, that's illegal. I learned my lesson. I picked them from the governor's garden instead. Oh. <laughs> Picking garden flowers. Picking flowers from the governor's garden? Sounds like an unwise choice. An unwise choice. We used to be friends. Sort of. Anyway, they aren't even her flowers. Taxes pay for them. It's public property. <laughs> I don't know why anyone bothers me about it. I don't hurt anybody. Well, except the flowers. They're annuals. They're good <laughs> anyway. Guybrush, you gotta get me out of here. It's custard night. I don't think I can take that again. I'll make it my number three priority. Thanks. <laughs> Custard sounds pretty good. I think there's some writing on it, but it's too tiny to read. Hmm. Important information. It says jail rules. One, no escape. <laughs> that, that's it? It says jail rules. One, <laughs> no escaping. No escaping. Talk to Stan, the used ship salesman. Hey, Stan. Hello there, son. <laughs> yeah, like how he, like, his arms, like, flail wildly. Oh, sorry to see you in jail. Well, sorry to see you in jail. Thank you, son. I appreciate the thought. I'm sorry to see me here as well. <laughs> I was really hoping to buy a ship. I was really hoping to buy a ship from you. Well, now, normally, I would do absolutely anything to get you into a comfortable ride right away. But my hands are tied. They're shackled. I can't do it. Not at any price. I'm completely out of inventory. Every ship on the lot was seized by unscrupulous lawyers who don't care about your sailing needs the way I do. Okay, don't worry about it. I've already got a plan to steal a ship from LeChuck. Well, if you don't get killed, look me up afterwards. I'll give you a good price for anything that can stay above the waterline. Naturally, it'll have to be store credit until I get back on my feet. <laughs> 
What did you do to you got you arrested? What did you do that got you arrested? Let me tell you something, son. It's not what a man does that matters. It's who he is. Maybe one day, in a moment of weakness, he crosses a line. But if he's confident about what's in his heart, he can hold his head high. And you know what's in my heart, son? Blood and goopy stuff? <laughs> People! People are in my heart. Anything I may have allegedly done, you can be sure I did it because I care about people. <laughs> what exactly did you allegedly do for people that got you arrested? <laughs> what exactly did you allegedly do for people that got you arrested? I gave them what they wanted. Now, naturally, people don't always know that they want the things they want. Sometimes it takes a man with a talent like mine to show them the way. And sometimes people who are jealous of that sort of talent will try to put all sorts of unpleasant labels on it. They use hurtful words like scam <laughs> and misrepresentation and even fraud. Hmm. But it's all just marketing, son. As natural as the rocks marketing. and the trees and the Malay Island flounder birds. And that's why I'm not worried. I'm awaiting final Those judgment arms. of the court, but I'm certain I'll be acquitted. They don't hang people for marketing. <laughs> hmm. Would it help if I broke you out of jail? Would it help if I broke you out of jail? Now that's a kind offer, it truly is. Warms me to think that you do that for your old pal Stan. But I've got to think about the optics. I don't want to damage my case, and escaping from jail doesn't look good at trial. I mean, he's not so wrong. thanks, but no thanks. Hmm. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. The secret? Boy, that takes me back. But if you're looking for help, you're barking up the wrong enchilada. Just remember, mm, life has no guarantees or warranties. Only jamborees. Thanks. That's advice. Yeah, that's that's advice. Uh, is there anything else I can do for well, you? Is there anything else I can do for you? Now that you mention it, there is one thing I've been missing during my time here in this lofty establishment. In all the rush and fuss and document shredding surrounding my arrest, <laughs> I completely forgot to grab my toothbrush. If you happen to be passing by the shipyard, you might grab it for me. It'll be on my desk in the office. Sure thing. Hmm. Okay, we gotta bring Stan his toothbrush. Uh, didn't you used to have a law practice? Didn't you used to have a law practice or something? Used to, but I was disbarred for what we former law practitioners call moral turpitude. <laughs> Is that a real word? More or less. It's one of those handy catch-all words <laughs> More that you can use whatever you want because it doesn't mean anything specific. Uh, doesn't it though? Are you sure you don't want me to break you, you out? Are you sure you don't want me to break you out? 115%, son, but thanks. All right, see you, see later. you later. Yep. Okay. Anything else in here? Watch your boots in here, son. It's like a swamp without the clean parts. Ugh. Oh, I saw something. What did it say? Oh, an unsightly jail lamp. At least the jail is well lit. Yeah, but the better I can see it, the worse it looks. There's something about a health hazard. Oh. How's your day going? What was that? What well, looks like a health hazard? Oh, this I don't puddle? remember this place being so leaky. They finally hmm. installed running water. <laughs> Okay, I think that's it. Oh, is that a... He, a spider! Woo! Ugh, it's that same spider. Ah, it's that spider again. <laughs> Ugh, I simply don't like looking at that spider. <laughs> okay. Uh, look at all this, like, graffiti. It's interesting. Looks sort of like an eye. Hmm. All right, locksmith. Hi there, newcomer. Hiya. An elegant book. At the end of the plank. My mother's. Please don't touch it. Hmm. Crackers? Are these for customers? Not technically, but please help yourself. That charming old guy who mans the lookout keeps bringing them for the parrot. Thanks. I'll just take a few. Oh, okay. Handsome looking parrot. And also vicious. But it was my mother's favorite. I've got crackers now. A treasure map. I see a peninsula trailing off into small islands, but no X marks the spot. It's southern Florida. <laughs> I have family there. Southern Florida. Next to box. These are nice. It's a locksmithing test. Close it all up, and if you get the key out, you pass? That's the beginner level, yes. 
The real challenge is to lock the larger box inside the smaller one. Wait, what? <laughs> cool machine. That's an impressive machine. Yep. This wouldn't be much of a lock shop without a key grinder. A key grinder? What's that? What is that? It's definitely not a key. Or a lock. It's a fishing lure, of course. Of course. Whoa. Can I buy it? How much for the fishing lure? It's not for sale. This is a locksmith shop. <laughs> Perhaps you saw the sign outside? Well then why, why do you have a fishing lure? Is that from a famous locksmith band or something? <laughs> My mother's band? The Golden Keys. They were named after some actual Golden Keys that she spent a bunch of time looking for. Hmm. Make a pun about the painting. I see everyone in that portrait has lovely locks. If you have <laughs> to make a pun, at least make a good one. <laughs> I liked it. What's this key? That's for a lockable quiver. And please, don't touch the glass. What's this key? That one is only for going in. Never for coming out. And please, don't touch the glass. Okay. Uh, let's see. Asked to try the key grinder. Can I try out your key grinder? <laughs> no. I wouldn't want you to lose any fingers. Hmm. Okay. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Pleased to meet you. I'm Locke Smith. You're kidding, right? Nope. And before you ask, yes, they did. Yes, it was. And they really, really wanted me to follow in the family business. <laughs> Can you make keys for stuff? That seems like a magic trick. Can you really make keys for stuff? That seems like a magic trick. Modern locks have serial numbers that tell me all I need to know. No tricks necessary. Just information. Hmm. It seems wrong that you can make a key from just the serial number. It's a fail-safe, in case people lose their key. You know how people are. Hmm. Aren't locks way less secure if all you need is a number to get a new key? That's why you should never share the serial number with anyone. Hmm. What happens if you lose your key and the serial number at the same time? The numbers are usually engraved on the locks, just in case. And if you lose oh. the lock, chances are you don't need a new key. Oh, wait, wait. I think I know what I need to do. Back back in the jail, there was, it said there was, like, small text above the lock. I bet if we use our monocles that we combined, we'll be able to read it like using a magnifying glass. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, who's the old lady in the window across the way? Who's the old lady in the window across the way? You mean Whitey Bones. She used to be the undertaker here years ago. Seems to know a lot of things that maybe don't quite fit together. Hmm. I'm on a quest to find the secret of Monkey Island. Exciting. The story in my family is that the secret is sort of like a key. One that opens all locks at once. Hmm. All at once? How does that work? How does that work? No idea. It's just a story. But I guess you'll find out soon enough. Hmm. Well, what's to stop me reading the serial number on someone else's lock and having a key made? The numbers are printed small enough that you need a special tool uh -huh. to read them. Only a pro would have a tool like that. <laughs> uh, okay. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. I've got a system, and I don't like it disrupted. <laughs> All right. I, I think I know what we need to do. Let's go back to the jail. Hey, Guybrush! Hey, kid! So, yeah, peer at the lock. I think there's some writing on it, but it's too tiny to read. Okay, so then we have to use our monocle. You look like you're having a good time. I can read the serial number. I'll write it down so I don't forget. Thank you. Ooh, I've got it written down. Oop. This is the number for the jail cell lock. I like how it doesn't tell you what the number is. Count the crackers. I've got enough to last me. <laughs> what, do, what do I need? Appreciate the knife. It's my very own, very sharp, non-magical ceremonial knife. Hmm. Okay, now we can get a they key. Say the only... Sorry, Stan. Hi right. there. Hi. Hi. Can you make me a key from this serial number? <laughs> sure. Good choice on the lock. These are really sturdy. It's the same kind they use over at the jail. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> what a coincidence. I no idea. <laughs> All right. Hey, Guybrush. 
Hey, yeah. kid. Yeah. Key. Word of advice, kid. Stick to the narrow straights. <laughs> Otis, the authorities have reconsidered your case and decided that you should go free. I'm very grateful to the authorities, the authorities. And will not mention their name should any awkward questions be asked. Good luck, Stan. I hope you get acquitted. Oh, it's in the bag, friend, but thanks. Hmm. An empty I'll cell. Stay on this side of the bars, just in case. Okay. Any writing that was once here has been rubbed away. Ah, uh, I can't. I can't use the same key. No thanks. I'm about to be acquitted. Escaping looks bad. Oh, that's right. He didn't want to be helped. Okay. When I got Otis out. Uh. Guess let's go out this way. We need to find a mop tree. Is the governor's mansion? Yeah. Just go right in. Carla. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, she's cool. Guy brush three wood. We're gonna have to sword fight. Which is just joke fighting. <laughs> Hello, sword master. Prepare to taste my blade, you washed up hack. Hmm. Let me, let's see. What's a good response? Anything but your cooking. When was the last time you had a bath? Or let me show you what a hack looks like. Let me show you what a hack looks like. <laughs> Pretty good. There we God go. Brush. Right on point. It's nice to see you again. You too. <laughs> You have to come up with like weird little puns. Uh, hmm. You should have never given up being the swordmaster. You should never have given up being swordmaster. Who says I did? Oh, sorry, I just assumed. Governor seems like a full time job. It is, but there's room for overlap if you're creative about it. I heard <laughs> from your wife. She's coming by to talk about scurvy legislation. I assume you're involved with that somehow? Hmm. <laughs> I'm not automatically involved with everything Elaine does just because we're married. <laughs> I'm not automatically involved with everything Elaine does just because we're married. I can see that. If it isn't about the scurvy project, why are you here? I'm looking for the secret of Monkey Island. I'm looking for the secret of Monkey Island. Good for you. I don't have it. Yeah. Hmm. Elaine says Captain Madison is hurting her scurvy project. Not the legislative part, just the public funding. The town was in a bind a while back, and that so-and-so Captain Madison saw an opportunity. She lent us the cash we needed, but now we're up a creek paying the interest. Uh, Things like predatory social loans. programs, waste management, and town maintenance are all on the back burner. I like that mm. woman less every minute. You and me both. Well, the mansion hasn't changed much. Elaine's style is still everywhere. Even the books are hers. They're my books now, as you well know. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice <laughs> is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. <laughs> Does not include Secret of Monkey Island. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I've always thought this looked like my old ship, the Sea Monkey. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Can poke it. Whoa, admire the official portrait of the governor. Ugh, looks like Carla wasn't too keen on getting her portrait done. <laughs> okay. What's with the stuffed animal? I like your stuffed, uh, I guess it's a dog? <laughs> Please, take that and throw it away. It was a gift from the Earl of Thickwater, who is a contemptible pig. Take the stuffed animal. I got a stuffed animal now. Government in action. It's a lot of work being governor. It's a lot of work being governor. Okay. This is letting me just wander around the house. Stay out of my bedroom, Threewood. <laughs> I guess not. 
Ooh, a trivia card. Let's see. Squeeze the stuffed animal. It's soft and extra fuzzy. Oh. Let's see. Is Monkey Island 2 who has a glass bottom ship? Uh. Stan? Oh. I don't know anything. <laughs> Older portrait. Elaine told me that's Lauder Neckbeard, second <laughs> governor of Melee Island. His overly Neckbeard. strict morals and overly lax regulatory policies helped make the island what it is today. <laughs> I've seen that same painting on a box of frozen instant cereal. Mmm, cereal. Stay out of my bedroom, Threepwood. <laughs> uh, can I say anything else to her? Oh, we just fight again. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but <laughs> yeah. I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. All right, she hasn't, doesn't have anything else to say. All right. There's nothing in here for me? Oh, wait, what's, what's it say? A oh, more, oh, I can borrow a book. Can I borrow a book? <laughs> You've got a lot of nerve asking that. You <laughs> Do never I? brought back the last book you borrowed. Oh, I sorry. I buy another copy. You never even apologize. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm hearing the words, but somehow they aren't helping. <laughs> I need more than that. Oh, I'll give you an apology, frog. Here. You're giving me a frog? <laughs> it's a forgiveness frog for when words aren't enough. That is complete <laughs> nonsense. And yet, I am going to forgive you for losing my book. There we go. I can't even explain why. I just have this sudden, inexplicable urge to forgive. You better not be up to something. Just uh, don't lose the frog, okay? No, I'll keep it with me always. <laughs> okay, I can now I can borrow it. Can I borrow this book? Oh, all right. <laughs> I was upset after you lost the last one, but you seem genuinely sorry, so I guess I'll give you another chance. Thanks. I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this. All right. Can I borrow this book? One book at a time. Oh. I only trust you so far. Which one did I borrow? I didn't even really look at it. Examine at the end of the plank. Oh. Nope, I want to examine it. The blurb says it's a solid, if somewhat predictable, story about a roguish pirate and a doomed romance with a woman of station. Hmm. Okay. Do I? I have to do something with these books. There's one called Ingredients. Ship to ship combat strategies by stupid Captain Madison. <laughs> Uh, the Big Book of Treasure Maps, Ingredients, the autobi Autobiography of J John Laney, Voodoo Tricks You Can Do at Home, The Endless Tale of Voyage That Would Not End. <laughs> hmm. Well, I have one book. Oko, can I put it back? Which one? Do I don't know which one I need. Hmm. I guess we'll come back if we need one of those other ones. Edgy. <laughs> when you look at the the sword portrait, it just says edgy. Haha. -ha. Hmm. Okay. Take the back way to the island's interior. This game is like kind of bigger than I thought. Oh, okay. I'm at the governor's mansion. High Street. Forest. The shipyard. The lookout point. I guess let's go to the forest. Yeah, we need to find a tree, right? Read the sign. Warning. The dark forest ahead is deadly and twisty. Maps are highly recommended. Well, I don't have a map. I I needed a... Oh, what? Ooh, a trivia card. What did I, how did I do that? Like, I did something and then, like, everything that... You could click, like, lit up. How did I do that? 
the deep dark forest where I'm sure to get lost. <laughs> okay, what's over here? Oh, admired the tiny climbing ship. Oh, I used to love these when I was six. <laughs> oh, a museum. Museum of pirate lore. I used to love these when I was six. Until I got trapped in one for two days. <laughs> I think they're illegal now. A museum? Hi there. Hi there. Welcome to the Melee Island Museum of Pirate Lore. I'm Conrad, the curator and docent here. The museum showcases the largest collection of pirate memorabilia in the Caribbean. Or on Melee Island at the very least. The provenance of each item has been very carefully researched and fact-checked by myself and my team. Feel free to explore. And if you have any questions, just ask. Hmm. <laughs> That's the note LeChuck left when he kidnapped Elaine. How on earth do you have that note? Oh, yeah. That's very interesting. That was found tucked inside of a book at the Fat Island Library. It's the actual note left by the ghost pirate LeChuck when he kidnapped Governor Marley. I know what it is. The lookout handed it to me just before I finished my three trials. Uh, I was crushed, but undaunted. I gathered a crew and I sailed to Monkey Island to save her. Not that she needed it, as it turned out. <laughs> wow, man, you're really into this. <laughs> I've got a role-playing group on Thursday nights. You don't believe me? It's not a question of belief. Never mind. It's not important. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. Inspect the lock. Ooh, yeah. There's some very tiny writing on it. Aha. Let's use our uh, monocle on the lock. Ah, crystal clear. I'll just write that down. Nice. Okay, so we have to go get another key so we can get this. Uh, what, what can is, you tell me about this? It's an eye patch. That's the pride of the collection. It belonged to Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. Supposedly, it had voodoo powers that would disguise <gasps> him. I tried it on though, and nothing happened. Hmm. We need it. A disguise. That is a really big parrot. I wonder how many hands it's eaten. What do you feed it? <laughs> Thieves, mostly. Good to know. Hmm. Uh, but we've got crackers that we can use to possibly uh, distract the parrot. It's a working parrot. I shouldn't bother it. Hmm. What was this cinder you've got on the wall? Oh, that. Yeah, that was an unsent love letter written by Elaine Marley while she was governor of the island. What? Elaine? The recipient was referred to only as Plunder Bunny. It's me. <laughs> it was a really Plunder touching Bunny? letter. Unfortunately, I put the candle too close to it. What did it say? Tell me what she said. <laughs> oh, you know, love letter stuff. Honestly, I don't remember a word of it, but it was touching. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Pl Plunder Bunny. <laughs> What's the story with the wanted poster? That is the earliest known wanted poster for Captain Kate Capsize. You can tell how notorious she was by the huge number of crimes listed there. Very impressive. I got it from a collector on Fat Island. Those are my own crimes, actually. I was pretty much public enemy number one on <laughs> Fat Island. Spoiler alert. Time. I stuck Kate's picture on there so she'd get thrown in jail. <laughs> that would never work. Nobody's that clueless in real life. I'm telling you the truth. I'm sure you are, but it just doesn't quite square with the official record. So it's hard to substantiate. Substantiate? You've got an eyewitness. Eyewitnesses are notoriously inaccurate. <laughs> Human memory is plastic and suggestible. Not yours, apparently. No, of course not. I deal in facts. Hmm. Eye patch worn by Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. I already knew that. Hunk of slag. What's this melted lump of metal? It used to be a mug. It was melted by some kind of acid. It was found in the melee jail many years ago. After an incident where like 20 pirates escaped. Hey, I did that. I had to keep pouring <laughs> Spo the grog spoiler from mug alert. to mug because it was <laughs> melting them. I had an armload of mugs and I juggled them all the way from the scum bar to the jail. Also, I could get Otis to join my crew. Not my greatest decision in retrospect. That's a pretty wild story. This is absurd. It's like this whole wall is stuff from my personal adventures, but somehow I'm not even mentioned in your stories. That's what's so great about this museum. Everyone makes their own connections with the exhibits, and it's highly personal and different for everyone. That's not what I'm trying to say at all. <laughs> That's okay. You don't need to say anything. Just listen to what the exhibits tell you. Fine. 
Hmm. Enter the storeroom. It's locked. Oh, can I it's look locked. at the key? <laughs> There's tiny writing. New serial numberless lock. Oh, <laughs> they knew I was going to look at it. That's funny. Okay. Um, I can, will he say anything interesting? Your museum is quaint. Your museum is quaint. Thanks. It's been a personal passion of mine. I'm nuts about old timey pirate stuff. Old timey? Being around <laughs> it really makes you feel like you're a part of something. Doesn't it? I am part of something. Exactly. <laughs> I'm Guybrush Threepwood. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. No kidding? Wow. Are you named after Guybrush Threepwood? <laughs> uh, I guess you could say that. Nice. <laughs> uh, do you have any maps of the forest? Do you have maps of the forest here? No, that's not really what we do. Try the map shop in town? Mm -hmm. I see you wear a peg leg despite having both of your original legs. <laughs> Hi, so you wear a peg leg despite having both of your original legs. Just part of the docent's outfit for the tourists. Kids always want to try it on. That's charming and creepy at the same time. <laughs> this is a museum for people who think attacking ships and murdering the crew for profit sounds fun. Touche. I'll have a look around. Please do. Okay. I think I've looked around at everything. What's that? What's the significance of the peg leg? That belonged to the infamous peg leg Patty. She used to hide a spare cutlass in it, in case of capture. Sadly, that's the reason she's no longer with us. That's a nice oar. The one with the coffin, yeah. The coffin had a lot of water damage when I got it from the voodoo lady in town. But I managed to restore it. It was used by a certain well-known captain in a daring escape from a Turkish prison. Uh, the water damage is actually from the swamp on Scab Island. Hmm, unlikely. <laughs> the prison in question is nowhere near Scab Island. I'm just trying to help. Thanks. I've got it under control. <laughs> Make a joke about the hook. Is this a left hook or a right hook? That once belonged <laughs> to the dread pirate Meat Hook. Supposedly, he was ambidextrous. Also, he used to live right here on Melee. I, I enjoyed that. Uh, leave the museum. Okay, yeah, we gotta go and get another key to get the disguise. Um, I guess, right? A deep, dark forest where I'm sure to get lost. Let's try anyway. Go this way, or go this way? Yeah, there's no way I'm just gonna, like, <laughs> do this. <laughs> I'm hopelessly lost without yep. a map. Okay, it already got brought me back. Alright. Uh, the shipyard? We haven't been to the shipyard yet. Wow. It's worse oh, than I wow. imagined. Oh, wow, yeah. It's all... It's, the S has fallen off. It's just Tan's previously owned vessels. The assets of this establishment have been seized to settle a class action lawsuit. Have a nice day. Wow. A, a strange mass? It's a dried up old sea sponge. Take it. Sure. Why not? A bucket. Stan used this to clean his ships. It's all rusted out now. Okay. Gaze at the moon. It always looks bigger on this side of the island. There was a time when every mooring would be filled with one of Stan's used ships. There was a time when okay. every mooring would be filled with one of Stan's used ships. I remember when these torches lit up Stan's previously owned vessels like a carnival. Hmm. It says, Tan's previously owned vessels. So sad. Stands used to be the best place to buy used ships. Oh, I paused the game. All right, let's see. Well, I know we need to go back and get the key. So let's go back to, was it High Street? It's nice that you can just like go directly there. Yeah, okay, we need to go and get another key. Let's 
Kids, welcome back. Hiya. Hiya. Uh, I have the serial number. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. This will be for a high-end display case. You a collector? Uh, yeah. Stamps. Stamps. Thanks. All right. To the island's interior. All right, and then I need to go to the museum. And then, oh, okay, but first I need, I think I need to distract this guy with some crackers, maybe? Squeeze the sponge. It's good for relieving stress. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, crackers. Let's get some crackers to the pirate. All right, quietly open the display case. The display case is locked. Oh, I know, I have the key. It doesn't fit. What? Is that the wrong key? Oh, okay, here. I got it. <laughs> I like how I leave immediately. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the mansion. What do you expect me to do, Elaine? Issue a proclamation? Of course not, Carla. We'll need to generate public support. I'm working on that. People around here don't like any kind of restrictions, even if it's for their own good. But we can put a requirement on ships traveling to the north. There's already a customs check, so the infrastructure is all in place. This is person with the crown of it's a start. keys. Scurvy's a big problem. Let's do all we can. Agreed. I've come a long way. Is there anything else on the agenda? Coffee? Hmm. Let's go to the governor's island, and, or the mansion, and see who that was. Can we go in and talk to them? No? Oh no, they're not here anymore. Oh well. Alright, what was I? I had the key. Where did I get the? Oh, I, ha I have the disguise now. Put on the eye patch. Classic and subtle. Like me. <laughs> but I don't need to be wearing this right now. Hmm. Okay. Oop. I still don't know how I get the map. So I need a map to go into the forest. I'm guessing to I'll go back to the voodoo store. Hmm. Let's try it. Oh. How much for the safe? It is not for no, sale at not. any price. As I said... What's cooking? The Feast of Knowledge. I need to enchant the eye patch. Oh, that's right. Can you charge John Leaney's eye patch up for me? That's right. Ah, the famous eye patch disguise of John Laney. As I suspected, the magic has <laughs> long since drained away. Is John Laney a, 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 a reference to something? John Laney. Whoa. Come, spirits of deception and death. Drink your rejuvenation and awaken. Death? <laughs> it's nothing to worry about. John Laney, this hapless boy needs your help. Hey. Take pity <laughs> on him and bring him the power to hide from his enemies. Well, you don't have to put it like that. <laughs> That's it? Unless you want the extended service warranty. <laughs> no thanks. I'm not a sucker. <laughs> what do I owe you? Maybe try it on first, before we discuss payment. Oh. Oh. Well, how do I look? 
Oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm like a, I'm a ghost what pirate. The heck? Perfect. You look like a zombie. Is it broken? Well, John that's what Lane I need. John was especially known for impersonating monsters of various types. You failed to mention that earlier. <laughs> it's not a strong part of the sales pitch. I'll just wear it when I really need to. Oh. Ugh. You're Convenient. welcome. <laughs> All right, now can we get on the ship? Back to the docks. Okay, let's put on the eye patch. Or, oh wait, I just have to click it. Ooh, I'm a zombie ghost. Expedition to fabled Monkey Island. Crew positions available. Serve under LeChuck, the most fearsome <laughs> pirate on the eight seas. Like how he's even Equal got a hole in the back employer. of his head. Inquire here. Okay. Hi there. You must be the quartermaster. Yep. You look like a guy without many options. <laughs> Plenty to swabby. It's B Y O M. So. Oh, I still need a mop. And the job's yours. Okay. Damn it. Hmm. Well, I don't have the mop yet. I don't have time for chit chat. I'm trying to get this ship revisioned and out to sea. Show hmm. me a mop and you can come along. How do I get the. Of course, I need the map to go to the. Uh, I better take off his voodoo eye patch first. Oh, yeah. But I need it like. Hey, a... watch it! Whoa. Hmm. Yeah, let's go back and talk to the chef. Let's see. Because I needed like just like a little piece of it. Oh, what's, what's this person? Talk to the clean-looking pirate. Hi. Are you my waiter? I want the excellent dish I had at the governor's mansion last week. I I don't know what it's called, but it was sort of, you know, a hot food. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not... <laughs> a hot food. ingredients in it or something. <laughs> I'm not your waiter. I already told your incompetent cook this, but he still hasn't brought me my dinner. I don't work here. I'm not a waiter. Hop <laughs> to it! Uh, right away, sir. Oh, that's a good idea. I do have a knife, right? Excuse me. Pardon me. Uh, this <laughs> isn't sort of tipsy Epscon. Appreciate. Let's use the knife on. Aha! Uh -huh, carve the mop handle. Stay away from my mop. Oh, I can't use it. Did I get it? No, I didn't get it. Hmm. <laughs> it for forbid whittling. Oh, you look like the health inspector tasted your stew. Or you did. Worse, Marlin Marlin is here. Who? The customer I have nightmares about. He's the only importer of yak fat on the island, so I need to keep him happy. <laughs> yak fat. He makes that impossible. Today he wants me to make him a dish that he ate last week at some kind of event at the governor's mansion. But of course he doesn't remember what it's called or know what's in it or even remember what color it was. He says he thinks it has ingredients <laughs> in it. I don't have the slightest idea what to make. Hmm. Where did he say he ha he said it? The governor's mansion. Oh, if I brought you a recipe, could if you I make it? If I brought you a recipe, could you make it? Of course. I'm a cook. See the hat? Okay. Look behind you, a three-headed monkey. Look behind you, a three-headed monkey. I do know a great <laughs> stew recipe for monkey heads, but I can't think about that right now. Hmm. Okay. Where did he say he had the dish he wants you to make? At the governor's mansion. It's probably some exotic, weird-tasting thing from a swanky cookbook. Oh. Was there a cookbook? Oh, yeah, there was something just called, like, ingredients, wasn't there? Oh. Uh, I'll see what I can find out. Uh, Thanks. I remember. I remember. That's not the one I got, was it? No, this one's called At the End of the Plank. Hmm. The stuffed animal string. I have, like, so much stuff already. Okay, but I think I know where I, we need to go back to the governor's mansion, and there was a book about ingredients. Uh, what's the best way to get there? Can I go this way?
Can I get to the map area from here? Yeah, here we go. Okay, we're going to the mansion. Going the long way. Okay. A book about ingredients? Can I return the other book? Thanks a lot. Thanks for returning my book. Maybe you have learned to be responsible. Is there something about... Yeah, here we go. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. I'll borrow it. Can I borrow this cookbook? <laughs> we have to battle first. You cook like a cow. That's why I need the cookbook. Fine. Fine. <laughs> Thanks. I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this. Yay! Okay. Back to the... <laughs> the, the... Is the cook going to cook the book since it's called Ingredients? Oh, that would be funny. Maybe he'll let me have a piece of his mop. I found this at the governor's mansion. <laughs> oh, thank you. I shall the have some tea. Dish must be in there. I have no idea which one it'll be, so I'll just have to make them all. I'd better get to work. Thanks, Guybrush. Hmm. Hmm. It's Carla's copy of Ingredients by Barbie LaFleck. Ugh, I remember that stench as if it were yesterday. Excellent. Maybe while he's distracted, I can cut a piece off the mop. Ha! And now. I can take this to the map maker? Yep. All right. The map maker guy is... Here we go. All right, give him the wood. Wally, here's a sample of the wood you wanted. Can you make me a map now? Ten minutes later. Sure, here it is. Thanks, Wally. Yay, I've got a map. Okay. I, I'm, do I actually need to read this map, or is it just going to, like, show me the way once I get to the woods? <laughs> Quest for Glory. I played a lot of the King's Quest games. But I never never played Quest for Glory. Let's see. Uh the forest. To the deep dark forest. It's no longer where I will most certainly get lost. <laughs> so do I actually need to look at the map? Let's see. Okay, so right, straight, right, right, straight. Oh, look, okay. Right. Is it straight? I keep on clicking the wrong thing button. Yeah, right? Okay, straight. 
And then it was two rights, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're here now. Or no, let's see. Yeah, we took a right and we went straight. We need to go right again and then straight again. left, left, straight. Okay, I think we should be there now. Yeah. Oh, look! This! An adorable hedgehog family! Like your mama, little prickly kids. Aww. A frisky hey, squirrel. <laughs> This must be it. A tiny like deer. There's a welcoming committee. This must be it. Wow. The distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Malay Island mop handle tree. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I've got a knife. Hack off a branch. Several hours later. Oh. <laughs> what? What has happened here? <laughs> How did I do that? But oh no! <laughs> Why is it on fire? destroyed this beautiful glade. Look at this. <laughs> Why is the squirrel on fire? <laughs> Shivering birds. It's probably time for them to fly south. <laughs> hey, you little deer. <laughs> oh. I must have startled them while I was whittling. <laughs> Some animals are quite skittish. <laughs> I must have startled them while I was whittling. Some animals are quite skittish. <laughs> destroyed the whole glade somehow. <laughs> Uh, consider the stump. Another resource has given its all in support of my personal goals. It's what <laughs> nature is for. <laughs> it's what nature is for. Oh my. Oh, look at the bat. It's crying. <laughs> well, <laughs> on that note, now that I've destroyed the ecosystem, I think it's time to say goodnight. <laughs> But this was pretty fun, and it's going pretty fast, I feel like. I, I, I feel like we're making good progress already. <laughs> uh, I've just destroyed uh, the livelihood of all these animals. But, uh... <laughs> of course, it's the checkers rule. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, it's time for me to say goodnight. Uh, I have a busy weekend ahead, and it is Halloween on Monday. Uh, so I hope everyone has uh, an excellent rest of your weekend and a safe and fun Halloween. I'll be back on Wednesday, probably playing Final Fantasy again. We'll see. I need to figure out what I'm going to do next in game. Um, I know I need to get those Mandeville weapons. Um, I need to probably unlock a couple of the other uh, extra dungeons, do some um, quests for some robots, perhaps. <laughs> but we'll see. Anyway, I hope I'll see you then. Have a great night. <laughs>